This is a pit stop in Charleston, Missouri. We've already got on the uh, I-57 uh, leg of our trip. You can see that it is around 38 degrees and everything is covered in snow and there's fog as far as the eye can see. This sucks. I wish I could see more of where the hell I'm going. All right, it is 7.30. We have just crossed the river into Arkansas, and this is sort of like leg one of the journey. Uh, let's check with Mrs. Latham. Mrs. Latham, is everything okay? I suppose. A resounding yes. So as you can see, we've had a little bit of a problem. The alternator finally gave up the ghost. We're, uh, well, as you can see, we're 68 miles north of Effington. We're almost to Champaign. There's a wrecker on the way from the Nissan dealership. We're going to see if we can get it fixed and taken care of and see about maybe not having to completely change our plans. Here comes the state police. <sighs> Video blogging in the Nissan dealership. The waiting area of the service center. Like a boss. There's a lot of people standing around my car. <sighs> I probably would have saved about $400 if I got the alternator fixed in Cleveland at Firestone. As it is now, <laughs> Kevin, the service technician, told me that my alternator exploded. And so... <clears throat> The belt caught on fire, and um, there's some burned wiring, stuff like that. Um, he ballparked it at around 750, uh, possibly with some more, uh, some additional costs if they can't find the right wiring harness. Um, so, 800 bucks is what I'm looking at. Um, thanks to a generous, a generous doesn't even begin to cover it, um, help from my dad, we're going to be able to get the car fixed and still enjoy our vacation. Um, otherwise I would have had just enough money to get the car fixed, put gas in it, and drive right back to Cleveland, Mississippi. So, I think from now on, if we're ever traveling for more than overnight or more than, say, four hours away from home, we'll probably rent a car. Um, you know, I've had my car for maybe a decade in, uh, in July. Uh, I've only really had it in the shop, like, twice ever. And... Uh, it's got 192,000 miles on it. And even, you know, it, even if I spent 800 bucks a year, you know, servicing that car, it's still better than the, you know, $470 car payment I made on it. It's been a terrific vehicle. 
it has had the entire front end rebuilt because I hit a deer and destroyed the front end of the car. Uh, I was rear-ended in Memphis, and it's had the entire rear end rebuilt because it was destroyed by someone rear-ending me. Um, Mom knocked the mirror off of it in Jackson. Uh, some high school kid in Cenotopia tore up the passenger side rear door, uh, but it's cosmetic. The, uh, the windows, electric windows, really don't work like they should. But I bought that car brand spanking new. It had eight miles on it when I bought it. I have driven it for 10 years. I have driven it all over the country. I love it. And I want to continue to love it. <clears throat> so here I sit uh, waiting for the service technicians to work on it. They are very generously uh, staying after their usual hours to try and get my wife and I back on the road to Chicago this evening. And if they can, the plan is to get to Chicago and uh, you know have brunch and uh, a gather tomorrow, then go see the Shed Aquarium, uh, spend the afternoon uh, hanging out with my sister and Jeremy. Um, just having a good time. That's Mrs. Life, um, Mrs. Moose uh, peeking over my shoulder there. So, yeah. I'm just sitting here and I'm bored. I'm tired and I'm frustrated. I've been up since 4.30 in the a.m. and that would be bad enough, but tack on to it all the emotional frustration and terror and panic of having your car in flames on the side of a busy highway in the middle of a state hundreds of miles from home. It's been a taxing day. Uh, I don't think that I'm going to have a problem sleeping tonight no matter where my head hits the pillow. So that's all for now. I'll update as things develop. Um, aside from that, stay groovy, and, um, yeah, so hopefully there'll be more to come on the trip. We'll see. Ah. So there they are, working on the car. The poor Barracuda. She's been through a lot. She has about 192,000 miles on her, and I probably only had to have her in the shop about twice, so. She will rise again. I would just like to state for the record that my wife is a tremendous sport. She is made of grace. I want a new car. Someday. Someday. Cars get ran through the water. I can't see it. Don't have a crystal ball, I can't guarantee it. Hello. How you doing? You all right? Nothing. Say hi. Okay. We had a great tow truck driver. Uh, super nice guy. Reynolds um, um, Towing in um, s somewhere around Champaign, Illinois. I'm going to find the guy. Uh, he was really great. Uh, we're sitting here at the Nissan dealership. We're waiting to see how much the, uh, the repair is going to set us back so we know what we can do <clears throat> as far as uh, the rest of our plans. Uh, super stressed out, but um, trying to stay optimistic. 
and uh, more to come on the tale of the uh, the Barracuda. We'll see. This is Melody, she is the sister. We are in Chicago, we made it here safe, though later than anticipated. <coughs> this is Wrigley. Wrigley, look, look at it. Wrigley, look. look. Are you a good dog? Are you paying attention? Do you want a treat? Stop it. So this is Melody's kitchen and this is Melody's apartment and this is places and stuff and I am so absolutely incredibly exhausted. So I'm going to sign off and tomorrow there may be pictures of fish. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I don't care right yeah. now. I just want to die and sleep forever. So farewell. Ciao. I hope Chet's feathers. Because they're like all over my bedroom. Like on random pieces. <laughs> Let me show you something. What? See the little button right there that says photo? Mm -hmm. You press it. That's real good. It doesn't do anything because it's taking. All right. <clears throat> So there's the Bean, Trump Tower, lots of other buildings. You see Millennium Park over there. This is Melody and Lee playing in the snow. I don't like my wife's intentions. <clears throat> <laughs> All right, frosty. <clears throat> it's so amazingly huge. <laughs> it's easily the size of a small house. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> what? Lisa says it looks like a butt. <laughs> I think that's just your reflection, Lee. And here we are. <clears throat> the Lathams. At the bean. We can go inside of it. Yay! Go inside of it. I'm getting all the way to Oh. oh wow! <laughs> Look at that. That's amazing. Ha, <laughs> ha,
got it. Oh, so I got it. I got it. No, he's got it. No, okay. Okay, pick it up now. <laughs> right, are you ready to move it? All right, let's move it. Oh, wow. It's amazing. The echo is fantastic. <clears throat> no, it's not bust my ass in the snow. That'd be great. Look at the snow cover. Gosh, awesome. ice. Chicago in the spring. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very much like winter everywhere else. <laughs> Gorgeous architecture that we're not going to bother walking around to see. Caitlin. Okay, what are we doing? Wild breathing? 
You can see part of the Shed Aquarium. This is Lake Michigan. Zooming in, and that there is the Navy Pier, which we're not going to because cold weather, there's probably not a whole lot to do out there. The wind is really blowing. It feels like it's about maybe 30 degrees. There's a uh, monument there to. Kaziesco. We're waiting on Melody to pick us up. Uh, we had an amazing day at the aquarium. You can see the Adler Planetarium down there. <clears throat> and then over here to my right, we've got uh, Soldier Field, home of the Chicago Bears. <clears throat> Uh, the day at the planetarium was amazing. It was uh, it was pricey, but it was worth it. So if you ever get the chance to go, please visit. Yeah. Hello. Hey. <laughs> okay, we're uh, we're at one of the bus stops right where you dropped us off by that stop sign. By the big statue of Kosciuszko. Alright, bye. She said she'd be here in about five minutes. <coughs> this out in case we go to the bean. Oh, it's still recording. Hello, this is uh, this is uh, the Mizra's Moose. <laughs> Say hello, Mizra's Moose. Hi. She's, uh, she's a lovely lady and she's quite happy. Has it been a good day? It's been a great day. What was your favorite part of the aquarium? And don't just say the fish. <laughs> the aquatic show. Yeah, the aquatic show was pretty amazing. I blubbered like an idiot. I mean, crying like a baby the whole way through it. Yeah, but my problem is I showed blackfish to my kids and now I feel like a traitor. Well, <clears throat> you can show them this video and uh, <laughs> just confuse the hell out of them. They won't, they won't know what the truth is and they'll have to go find it themselves. Exactly. And that in itself will be a learning experience and that's what we're about. Confusing people uh, to the point of frustration so that they go find things out on their own exactly. and that's what teaching is <laughs> so uh, Until the next part of the video. This is uh, the Delta Moose signing off from Chicago
He's on now. No, I get it. Now, choose up to $2,000 in holiday bonus cash on top of existing offers on select models. Shop your local Nissan store or choose Nissan.com. Holiday bonus cash ends March 17th. Nissan. Innovation that excites. Holiday bonus cash varies by Nissan region. Not available on 2014 Rogue and Versa Note or new dealer stock. Available on lease and purchase. Valid 313 through 31714. 2014 EPA fuel economy estimate for Versa Note. EPA is the local part of the check surrounding to safety. Call 1-888-58319 for details.